So uh, we have a triangle formed by these three intersecting line segments. What's the measure of each angle of the triangle? So we need uh, both, well, we need all three really is what we need. Um, but they aren't all internal to the triangle, which makes things complicated. We can tell that whatever angle this is is going to be equal to A because they're vertical angles. We can tell that whatever this one is going to be is going to be 180 minus B, but we need the actual numbers. Statement 1 tells us that angle C measures 40, but without knowing the other two angles, we don't have anything, so that's not going to be enough on its own. Statement 2 tells us that angle A has a measure equal to angle X, or just equal to X, so we'll just call that X. Angle B has a measure of 2X, oh sorry, B has 2X plus Y, therefore this internal angle, I'm going to erase my mess here, this internal angle must then be 180 minus 2x plus y. We now could actually add all of these up. So uh, c plus x, c, x, plus 180 minus the quantity 2x plus y equals 180 because, you know, the three angles together add up to 180. Um, the 180s end up canceling each other out. x plus c minus 2x minus y. Uh, we have some x's to cancel out, so c equals x plus y. One equation, um, three variables, and no numbers. So this one's not sufficient on its own. We get rid of b. Even in conjunction, knowing that c is 40, so we know that x plus y equals 40, but without knowing what those numbers are, there's a couple different ways this can turn out. So even in conjunction, the two statements are insufficient. Answer choice E.